Hello everyone, I'm Kogi from Kogi.in and you're watching this review of Elphone M1. This is a 1.3 GHz 64-bit quad-core powered smartphone running Android Lollipop with 2GB RAM and 16GB of internal storage space. This handset supports a 5.5-inch screen with HD resolution, also comes with a fingerprint scanner on the back. This handset is priced at $160. Here is the box pack and inside you will find the M1. This is the golden color version, a screen guard, SIM tray ejector pin, quick start guide, data cable and the final content is the travel charger, 5 volt, 1 amp. Here is the golden color M1 that sports a 5.5 inch screen with 1280 by 720 pixels resolution. The handset looks awesome, it has got a metal body, very good build quality and finishing. Look at the golden shades, they give a very unique feel and look to the handset. There is a 2780mAh built-in battery. If you are looking at the sides, it's not completely flat, it is bending on the top as well as at the bottom. This handset is also available in silver color option, I guess both these colors look really great. Overall the handset looks really premium. Power button and volume rocker are placed on the right side. There is a SIM tray on the left side, audio jack is placed on the top and at the bottom there is a micro USB port and two vents. This handset is using a 2.5D curved screen and also comes with a factory fitted screen guard. It would be better if you remove the screen guard, it's not covering up the full screen, especially the curved part. On the rear side you will find the 13 megapixel autofocus camera, LED flash, secondary microphone and touch ID based fingerprint scanner. Weight with battery is 162 grams and the handset is 7.47 mm thick. It's a dual SIM handset. You can simultaneously use two micro SIM cards along with a micro SD card. Handset is running Android Lollipop out of the box and I am getting the 4G logo. I'm using the Airtel 2300 band and 4G works on both the SIM slots. Touch is smooth and responsive. Color reproduction is good and there are borders on the screen. The navigation buttons do not light up. Viewing angles are okay, the screen does tend to get a bit darker from certain angles. The Elphone M1 comes with 16GB of internal storage space and you'll get around 12GB free on the first boot. And of the 2GB RAM, you'll get around 1.3GB free RAM. Hindi language is supported. This handset is using the Myra Vision technology and you can change the picture mode using these options. The M1 also comes with a built-in fingerprint scanner. This is Touch ID based scanner. It's fast and accurate and there is also the fingerprint app to unlock specific application using fingerprint. You will need to register your fingerprint for the first time. I have already done that and just to show you how it works. There are two ways to unlock. Press the power button and then place your finger on the fingerprint scanner. The other way is to simply place your finger on the fingerprint scanner and wait for a few seconds. OTG does not work. I am not able to access the contents of this OTG pen drive. Let's move on to the camera. Here is the camera interface. It's an autofocus camera. You can also use touch to focus. HDR is supported. Rear camera is 13 megapixel and can shoot full HD videos. Front camera is 2 megapixel. There is picture in picture mode that is PIP mode. And the front camera also comes with front LED flash. Here are some of the samples I shot using this handset. For more sample images and videos, do visit my website. The link is mentioned in the description section below. This handset is powered by MediaTek MT6735 quad-core chipset, 64-bit, running 32-bit Android Lollipop 5.1. It's using Mali T720 GPU and there are three sensors, accelerometer, proximity and light. Magnetic sensor is missing. Before running the benchmark application, let's have a look at the battery temperature. It is at 38 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 10996. Antutu score 32 bit for the first time was 26204. Battery temperature is at 38 degrees. Second time the score was 26188. Battery temperature is at 38 degrees. Nina Mark 2 is at 59.2 FPS and this handset supports 5-point multi-touch. After 13 minutes, the battery dropped by 7% and the battery temperature is still at 38 degrees. Let's note down the battery temperature again, 31 degrees. I had to install the Asphalt 8 and there was a new update available and hence it took me some time. 
Here is the Asphalt 8. This game got installed on the internal storage and it is set to the high visual quality. This is the speaker out when so make sure you are not blocking it while playing the game. Gameplay is pretty smooth. There is a very mild lag but it's acceptable. I played this game for about 18 minutes. Battery dropped by 13% and the temperature has increased to 40 degrees. The L Phone M1 is a premium quality handset powered by a 64-bit quad-core processor running Android Lollipop with 2GB RAM and 16GB of internal storage space. When it comes to the camera performance, it's average. You can check the sample images and videos on my website. The build quality of this handset is really awesome. Handset doesn't heat up much. Performance is smooth. Fingerprint is an added advantage. The 2780mAh built-in battery is not that impressive but you can expect about 3-4 to four hours of continuous moderate to heavy usage on a single charge. The Elphone M1 is a premium looking handset with an affordable price tag of $160. It is a good option for this price tag.